Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix White Ace Attorney. So what do you think, Mr. White? I think the best cues is as confused as we are. After all, oh, I need to turn this down. It's too loud for me. The victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. And a different suspect was arrested at the other crime scene. Lana? Good morning, Mr. White. I apologize for yesterday. I was indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you for too long for too long for questioning. We just finished actually. I'm used to all nighters though. So how'd it go? Yeah, this Mr. White suspects. The police are clueless. Yet yeah. how is anyone not supposed to be clueless? Two murders happened at the same time, one suspect. I don't think so though. I think there was two murderers. A plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We agreed that if I told them the truth behind this simulated murder, they wouldn't see capital punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. But Lana, don't tell me you. Much of my regret, I'm as much in the dark about this as they are. This guy, hmm. We discovered traces left by a certain person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. You found Officer Marshall's traces? Blessed stained fingers, to be exact. That's the trunk guard I'm up, up my sleeve today. You do understand what this means, don't you? In order to defend my sister, you're going to accuse Mr. Marshall. We have to play the cards to a doubt, isn't that right, Miss Scott? Yep, plus that punk has been asking for call me a doggy. Do what you have to do, Mr. White. I... If you guys want my opinion, I have never beaten this game. Have I have no idea who the murderer is, but I I think it's Marshall, Mr. Marshall, and that one chick, the one that's always passing up lunch food. That's who I think it is. If you want my opinion, court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is. Mm. Uh. I'm afraid you'll have to clarify. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach criminal affairs from the victim's office. The victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? What's more, I hear the victim from the every room just disappeared. Yes, and the body eventually appeared in the trunk of Mr. Edward's car. Wow, this is one messed up trial. I can agree with that. One of my, one of my duties as persecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today, I will present evidence relating to the murder at the police department. And so doing, I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now that's what Sussman's are about. He sounds so on top of things, even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. And that's supposed to be a admirable trait. Yeah, that's not very admirable. Very well, let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Edwards, you may call your first witness of the day to the stand. For its first witness, the prosecution calls the suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. The suspect? The, you mean the so-called murderer? Oh, ooh, boy. Things are getting wild from the get-go. Yep, he's calling in that very nervous guy. Will the witness please state his name and ask occupation? Yes, sir. I am asking Mike make it. Okay, no, I'm not saying that. We had enough sirs from last time. My guess um, that would be murderer. Uh, so you're telling us you're a professional killer? It was me. I'm the one who did it. I'll never kill anyone again. You've got to believe me. Um, actually, what we like to hear from you is um, what you call as part of this younger situation. A person who acts in adults can't possibly comprehend. Is he really using that excuse? Please, Mr. Officer, help me. <laughs> now he is saying, sir, Officer Meekins. Y yes? Give us a report of the crime. Consider that an order. Yes, as you wish. After I'm a part of the same that must be told what to do. For those who don't know, I just slapped myself in the head. Because so far, this is the dumbest trial of the game. You can't fall for a lack of enthusiasm. Try me. 
Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. I spotted a suspicious man in the security room and looked through the room. I was doing what I was trained to do, and I was suddenly attacked. I fought for my life, then I, I did it. After that, I passed out until another answer smacked me awake. That's not what you told me? Hmm, so the detective gold man attacked you? Do unto others before they do unto you. That's the Meekins family motto. I see, then you fainted and a colleague helped you regain consciousness. Yes, sir. He helped me knock, he knocked me upside the head. Very well, the events may begin to ex- cause him. I need here was more info to walk with. And there's only one way to do that. Push the living shit out of him. Okay, I have to tap it. Hold it! Mr. Meekins, you walk in the same affairs department, do you not? Yes, sir. I'm sorry to find we knew we could, sir. Yikes, now there's a scary thought. Evidence fits full was taking place on the day of the crime, which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the Blue Badger. The Blue Badger? Yes, the lovely police. Mask created by the head detective. I was meant to ensure it wasn't broken during the transfer process. That was my sole mission for the day. Wait, wait. Then how did you get in? Something a very important mission. At the reward ceremony that day, there were some people wandering around that we collected the blue badge to the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us, what did you see when you got there? I suspect on the security equipment was wait a minute. How did you wait a minute? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bruce Goldman. Okay, no, he could have. Wait a minute. Four, nine, eight, nine, five, nine, six. What is his number? Hold it. Enter into the evidence room. You need an ID card. Am I correct? Precisely, sir. I've run right around my neck. So then, your ID number should be listed in here, right? There it is. I found it. This is the one right here. Could you please read us the number? Yes, sir. It's 498959. Damn it. That's my number. I see, huh? But the number 4989596 is shown as being used twice. Please explain, witness. It's no real mystery, sir. The first time is when I relocated Blue Badger to the evidence room. And the second time is when I went to go get him after everything settled down. I see, so it was during the second time when... Yes, sir, that was when I spotted the man on the security camera. Well, at least I got more. I was only, I was only doing what I was ready to do. I was suddenly attacked. Wait a minute. Yeah, hold it. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us that what happened to you? It was a knife, sir, a knife. Dick the Gorbin put a knife on you. What happened then? Well, with me charging in on him like that, he looked as surprised as I went. You aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. That's why I reacted, sir. So my arms like an octopus struggling to detain him as I got this gash on my hand. Maybe if you just kept your hand cool, you kept your cool, your hand wanted to be... I saw the blood turning down my arm. I panicked. I grabbed the man by his collar. Were you attacked by, um, this knife? Okay, no, I failed. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, went too far, went too far, went too far. Hold it, punk! What exactly do you mean when you say you did it? I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films. 
The man let his guard down for just a so I snatched his knife from him. You took his knife. I spun him around and before the distance. I made sure to close my eyes like a man. Oh, I see. He must have been desperate. And then I knew his it was drenched in a sea of blood, and then, then the next day I knew, yes, he punched me right in my face, sir. Hmm. Damn it, I went too far again. There we go. About what time did we gain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know I was unconscious? Oh, right. Going to the report from the officer, I woke up. It was about 5 that he hit me. What in the head, too? I woke up quite too of pain. That's nice, so I mean, it's nice that you recover, that is. Well, you're well, though, I made sure to finish my mission. Your mission? Yes, sir, the blue badger, sir. I'll return him to the entrance before things are out of hand. Well, we can all rest easy now. I believe we have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, Your Honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was this man, was the man this of the murder really the victim? He's got a point. Hmm. Is that what make us with, with regard to that, sir? Take a look at this. It was sent to my cell. Chief Ken delivered it to me just this morning. The chief delivered it? What is that? A videotape? Yes, sir. That's not the right. Okay, now I'm done with, sir. A videotape. It contains footage from the security room in the obvious room. What? But if he asked if there was such a tape and was told it has been mistakenly erased, that's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told. It's the only thing I'm really good at. It looks like communication with the policeman as good as ever. Well, then, let's have a look. So was the video of murdering the victim. Oh, please stop using that word murder. It scares me. Video of a real murder? Just what are we getting ourselves into? And now we go into a n new thing. Oh, there's the blue badger. It's not showing us a lot. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there's one person. With him just sneaking up. What is the little, like Dragon Quest graphics? You don't get to see my. Wait a minute. Where did he. Wait a minute. Where did he go? Uh. Well, I believe we're all taking the same thing. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings there within us? What the hell was that wiggling piece of plywood? Sir, that's the part inside the entire criminal affairs department, sir. It's the blue badger! Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? Because at this point we're used to Well, yes, well, this thing seems to prove that the witness did agree to counter someone in the evidence room. Some sort of activity did take place. Your Honor, instead of relying on clear, clear inconvenient footage, the witness does my words of fire. It's not away with you, Officer Meekins. Yes, as you wish. His face can't be clearly seen again, but there's no question that the other person was Detective Goldman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker with Kyle Goldman's fingerprint to do. The locker he opened is unquestionably to Detective Goldman's locker, so it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. What's this about a fingerprint? Each dev has been given a lock equipped with a fingerprint's activated lock. The locks ensure that each lock can only be opened by the deck belongs to. Intriguing. That would mean the victim at the crime scene would have been Detective Gum. Okay, I may have been too far. Very well, though. Defense may begin. I don't know where this cross. But everything begins with contradictions that will have to start. Mystery man. Yeah. Hold it. 
Tell me, were you able to get a good look at the face of the man who attacked you with a knife? If you must label people as having seen or not seen the man's face, I believe I would be classified as the latter. The latter, but you were standing right in front of him, were you not? More to the point, you're the person who fought him, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir, but I didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when talking with them, you see. Yeah, that's a good trait for a police officer. Some sue was him. I bit my badge on it. I want to say that you might lose your badge. Okay, hold it. But you don't know that for certain, do you? You never actually saw Goodman's face. Well, I suppose you might say that. That is, if you must label people as having seen or not seen it. The face can be a thing fight in the video, only you can clear fight. But why is everyone look, looking at me? If I had to label your states as disturbing, go... Can you not do that, Meekins? Yeah. Having been shown a crescent video at best, we are not in the best of moods. Now, please be certain that when you testify... Y yes, sir. You claimed that the man who brandished the knife on you was Gordon. Tell us why you were positive it was him. Hold it! About those lockers... Is there no other way to open them? No, I myself tried all kinds of methods in the past. They only respond to records of things. I wonder what kind of methods he tried. The man opened the lockers lock, which only responds to his records of fingerprint. There must be the person locker was assigned to. Exactly my point in this. Could they just use this? I wonder if I can control this. Nope. But why was he not holding this one? Hold it! How do you know that information? I've heard rumors from people in the know. People in the know? The workers in the barber cafeteria, they keep me informed. They also listen to my romantic troubles. For the record, the open locker did indeed belong to the Goldman. I verified this information through a more reliable source. Hmm. So the victim opened the locker with his own fingerprint. Hold it! However, the most important detail is not shown in this video of the man's face. If I might say something, please do. After all, you're the one being examined. I do don't understand why the man's face is so put in the case. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock. And it was his hand that tried to thrust his knife into my body. Miles State can testify enough for this. Yes, you have a point. The board doesn't lie. That is, when the defense can find a problem with it. Then why does the court record again? There's a problem with it. Regarding the video contained on this tape, there was one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange? This contradiction leads to the party that the man may not be Detective Goldman. What? Video really contains a subject contradiction? Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. Yes? I suppose that we have... Actually, before we finish that, let me check something. Okay, let's try this. Okay, four and a half. But I want, there's something else I want to look at. Ah, oh, that's the time he came in. 5.14. Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's 5.30. Okay. We would want me to point it out. Very well, proposal accept. Let us further investigate this piece of evidence. I will now play the security form. Ms. White, please show us the contradiction you speak of. I have to point out a problem in the videotape. This is the first time I've ever had to do that. You can do it. It's, uh, it's set up so you can fast forward. We wanted to pause the video. To take a good look 
and make sure you point out the right thing. Please don't play it too many times. I can't stand watching this video. How did this guy ever become a police officer? Well then, Mr. White, please enlighten us. Where's the cut to do that takes the man? Okay. There he is. I'm looking for the top. Wait. Wait. Okay. Not there. Oh, wait. That there's something strange about this video would have to be uh this. I right, drops. Well, I don't get it. Well, what do you mind if I mm. play the video again? The one pointy his finger. Uh What's that? It's got to be this. Yes, that is strange. Something certain seems unnatural about it, but what could it mean? Sorry, Dora, but, but you seem to have forgotten the point of this exercise. The point? What he looks for is one thing, something that indicates them not be. Oh. Mm. Wait a minute. Let me find his jacket. Okay. Oh, wait, I can just do this. Um, I think I messed up again. <gasps> Wait a minute. The third thing has got to be this, Officer Meekins. Sir, do you mean me? As I understand, the lockup it looks like this. When you grab the handle, since we your finger, if the print matches... If the t light turns on, the lock is released. According to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it. If so, this, then something still is wrong with this picture. And we gotta watch it again. This noise is gonna drive me insane. It's already opened. That's the suspicious thing. When the victim waited for the handle to open the locker, Let's rewind it to a little earlier. And look right there. Ew, notice the light? What's this? It's it's already lit. Precisely my point, Your Honor. The lock was already open before the victim grabbed the handle. Ah! Order. Order, what's the meaning of this? It's very simple, Your Honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. Objection! But the locker's locks are controlled by an electric system where a door is shut and sensors triggered, and the lock is automatically locked. Oh, I know, it must have been broken down. Of course, I'm not an expert of this. That's not likely, sir. Your Honor, the sensor will detect and report any malfunction. Oh, well, it just goes to show and over just keep your mouth shut. So then, Ms. Vaughn, do you have an explanation? Me, Your Honor? Yes, back to the footage! Why was not uh, me? Hmm. Yes, well, you see, this is exactly my field. What do you think, Miss Scientific? 
Oh, uh, maybe something like Sham the Electric System? Something Sham the... Say, there's something else that seems out of place in this video. Y'all thought so too. That's got... I know what it is. I know what it is. There's another clue in there. And I don't know exactly where because I was there. And I pointed it out a while ago. As I failed miserably. Take that! Please watch closely. There's a continuance of the part one showed you earlier. <laughs> What's this? Something white fell on the locker. But it's been right here that things fall out when doors are open. I have to fall in and will break the section. We can't be sure the item was in the lock to begin with. What do you mean? The scissor triggers the lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? It inserted? This white thing wasn't inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Oh, I understand now. Sir, it's just like my tie. Two of the three times it gets stuck in the door when I get out of my... No, that's your own problem. Sir, it soaks me instead. That's what would have to be extremely thin to fit in the door. Not only that, it will also have to block it. That's true. It would need to be an ins insulator. But the thing side, there just might have been something that fits the description. But by insulator, you don't mean... I think I finally got this figured out. Oh yeah! Very well. Will the defense present the insulator? Now where's the rubber glove? It's white and it's wobbly and thin. I found this near the locker. Thin rubber glove. But we can't say that was in the victim's locker. It has a tag that says SL9 incident. Hmm? The video seems to depict the victim opening the locker, but that isn't the case. The lamp limp attests to this. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. Is that not so, Officer Meekins? It would appear so. I love how he always soaks himself every time you surprise him. Order, order, order. So are you to believe then the victim whom this Witness stabbed in the evidence room was not Dr. Goldman. Objection! Do not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? The defense has merely dis demonstrated that possibility, nothing more. The victim in the video was indeed Bruce Goldman. The prosecutor will offer one more testimony to prove this. What? Officer Meekins, please testify about this. Me? me? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Oh, you mean that? Of course. Is this a joke? Every trial feels like a joke in this game, and that's what makes it so good. Very well, begin your testimony. Mystery Man, part two. There's one other thing that proves this man was Dr. Goldman. To then the room, you must use the ID card. When ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the devil has used his card. Yeah, that is true. ID card reader. I see. And I have the ID card record Why right here, your aunt. But there's one thing that could have happened, though. Wait, then how did it get opened before? Is that of a victim just before the crime? Hmm? Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing that struck me as unusual. There were 100 cases that have been due for transfer, why were there so few people using this room? The particular evidence room is only used for st storing certain special cases. Special cases, extremely violent cases involving police staff. The someone that makes my hair stand on end? Me too, although it doesn't make much of a difference. Yep, because I have the spikiest hair of them all. There were only a few cases of for transfer, and most were cleared up by noon. Right, I see. Let's move on to the cross-examination. 
Boom! Mystery Man 2. Hold it. So unlike your earlier telling me, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? Yes, sir. Solid as stone. If my band wasn't wrapped in bandages, I'll even give the V for victory sign. Can he just use his right hand for that? Let's hold him out. The witness can't afford to make any more mistakes. Yeah, because I'm on his ass. Hold it! Is that kit card hanging from your neck one of those ID cards? Yes, this card right next to my cuffs. I keep it here so I won't forget it. But what if someone were to steal from you, keep it out in the open like that? But maybe I shone it well around my neck. Remember why I said two or three times I thought I get stuck in my card or when I get out? Well, the way we need to have my ID card gets stuck. Instead of the door closing, my ID card soaks me. Maybe I should just leave this one alone. Anyway, each police officer has one ID card. Both the police and the police can attest to this. Please, proceed. wait a minute. No, even if you lose it, they'll still give it to you. Wait a minute, check this again. No, still doesn't work. Hmm. Wait, but don't we have an ID? Uh, okay, so... Nope, I have nothing for this. Let it be noted that this is the record the witness referred to. Let me see. Yes, that would be it. Detective Goldman. What's the matter? According to this, Mr. Edwards, your name is on here. So it is. Not that persecutor again. Hey, maybe he's behind all this. Being a persecutor, he could hide the evidence. Mommy, is that man in blue a murderer? Shh, don't steal at him. You've got the wrong color, kid. It would seem the inquiry committee will want to speak with you again today. I have nothing to be ashamed of regarding my action or their consequences. For now, let us continue with the cross-examination. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. It must be so difficult for him. Yeah, but every time he's with me, it's always a pain. Hold it. Only I believe I testified that when you asked the man to show his ID card, he pulled a knife on you. Yes, he did show me any ID card. Don't you think that's odd? I mean, if he had his ID card, all he had to do was show it to you. There wouldn't be any reason to draw a knife. M maybe he just panicked. Everything seems from the contradiction. Let's point them out. Mr. White, what do you think? Hmm, I'm confused. What? The problem with this ID is far too obvious. It's not like Edward to miss something like this. You're thinking too hard about it. Come on, let's show them what we got. Hmm. Wait a minute, I missed something. Okay, no I didn't. 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 I didn't miss it. Mmm. Wait a minute. No, wait, I'm not there yet. Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. I'm not gonna wait. Here. I have the victim's ID called White Heel. I found at the crime scene. That makes sense. Not that crime. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean, the other crime scene, the underground park line that was Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. A, a lost item report? It's only half completed. But it shows the dog got lost something on the day of the crime. So it's important enough to fill out this report. 
Let me guess, you believe this something to be his ID card, right? I can't say that for sure, but there is a high possibility on the day of the crime the groom was not killing his card. Order! Order! So now, what does this all mean? It can only mean one thing, it doesn't require much thought. The man also making a count in the evidence room was not the Kevin Goldman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Like a freaking thief! Order! 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 Did the risk have a response? I have only one thing to say to the defense. Bravo, Mr. White! Bravo? Allow me to summarize the defense argument. I'm kind of surprised I'm doing so well. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. At 5.15 on the day of the crime, the man in the counter in the evidence room was not Detective Goldman. There are two grounds to support this. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. White? Yeah? What is he up to? Hmm. That being the case, we may arrive at a single conclusion. Then, if this video is a fake, the murder in the evidence room is also a fake. In other words, security camera does not show the incident of the murder. Ah, that is. Well, I guess that's right. There's something wrong, Mr. White. Only moments ago, you seem content to be pointing your finger around. This isn't good. Well, well, it seems you finally realize that what you've gone through some names to prove. Explain yourself, Miss Edwards. Defense has already done the explaining for me. The victim in this video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place at the apartment at 5.15 on the day of the murder. You're wrong about that. The murderer being rendered. The evidence is compared a trustworthy witness said the moment that the murderer had Ah! But no! There is something! Why would there be blood? I know that testament was way too shabby. It was all trapped from the beginning. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim also encountered? Where the person disappeared to. However, to our purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goldman. Just so you own uh, Mr. White, you have to do something or else, Lana. Hmm. What do I do? How am I supposed to get my. Object! We must never wait! One moment, Your Honor. What now, Mr. White? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. Of course not. But I almost walked right into the big goods and trap. What are you talking about? This card has proven one thing, one thing only. The security camera did not solve the actual murder. But there was still a murder. However, it cannot be said that it's unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. There's been lots of amounts of blood traces have been found in the evidence room. The defense demands fun examination to the truth of the matter. Major Edgeworth, yes, Your Honor. If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Is the accusing prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution is considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We may, we have not prepared any other witness for this incident. This just might be my sense. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Mr. White, do you mean? Your Honor, the defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh, who do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the table that took place in the evidence room. The prison requests to heal this person's name before deciding whether or not to comply. Very well then, Mr. White. This person whom you would have testified. What is his own name? Shake Marshall. Officer Shake Marshall. Why him? I can't let him know everything does yet. He's in sort of the evidence room. I feel we, we should hear what he has to say. The prosecution agreed to the defense's request. Say so he was responsible for guarding the room. We should hear his testimony. Firstly, he works in the police department. We certainly need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Very well. 
The court will take a 30 minute recess while the witness is supposed to. I have no idea what our word was. Will you please prepare the witness during this time? We will, Your Honor. Court is recess! For once, I did a court part without having to have two freaking parts in it. Uh oh. Is there more? I wanted to say. There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. White, huh? What do you mean? You can't forsake Marshall. It seems you figure out everything out. Uh, I haven't figured anything out. Nana? You're the one who knows everything. Emma? You always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Mr. White is trying his hardest to protect you. I, I don't recall ever asking for his protection. How can you be so cold? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? Hope I'm not doing anything, pals. Ah, oh, Gumju, yes. And yes, you did. Yes, I am. I'll come back later. Oh, Oh, Dr. Gumju, what is it? You've got a lot of nerve power making the victim one around while on duty. To top it off, seems you call me here. I've seen happier feelings. Sorry, Detective. You better be, pal. Hey, 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 hey! I didn't see you there, Miss Guy. That's okay. So, have you bought what I asked? Oh. Oh, 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 Okay, why something like that? You mean this, White? My pause, Detective. Due to my present circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. White's name when making my request. My name? Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. Could I bother to bring, could I bother you, bother to, to bring me the SO9 instant files? I'll need them by noon. Talk about crazy the SO9 incident? But uh, that's, I thought Mr. White might need them. So I had them bought here. Here, you might do well to read them. I can't believe you the were a witness in that case. Miss Guy was a witness? Take it from me. You don't want anything to do with serial murderers. Oh, what? Now I've bought you your stuff. You're just going to know me? Emma. But why? Why is your name in here? What? My name? No, I don't know. Unless... No, it couldn't be. Lana. There's no night case. Is that? That's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the West Ward knew it as... The Show Dark Killing. The uh, so dark. No. Well, that's over with. No! Emma, wait, she went away. Uh, you know what? I doesn't mean about. I gotta be some sorry, pal. I'm out of here. <sighs> Chuck Marshall also saw Demon Grant, Miles Edgeworth, and not to mention Lennon and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killing two years ago. This can't just be just a coincidence. Knowing you two does my be to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. White. Best of luck. I'd better take a good look at this file. Yes! I did it! Oh, my first try without messing... Well, I messed up three times, but... That's actually good for me. I usually mess up way more than that. So, guys, like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and I'll see ya, lovely game assassins, next time. Bye-bye!